All right, so more good news for today. Poland has taken a step to overturn their total near ban on abortion. So let's find out what they're doing, huh? So Polish lawmakers voted Friday to move forward with proposals okay, to lift a near total ban on abortion a divisive issue in the traditionally Roman Catholic country, which has one of the most restrictive laws in Europe. All right. That that sounds like uh, we vote to keep talking to do something. Members of the lower house of parliament, the same, voted to work on four separate bills, and I'm pretty sure I mis mispronounced that. Oh, well. Two of them proposed legalizing abortion through the 12th week of pregnancy. Still too, too restricted, but okay. In line with European norms. Seriously, that's in line with European norms? I, uh... The party of centrist Prime Minister Donald Tusk is seeking to change the law to allow women to terminate pregnancies up to the 12th week of pregnancy. Tusk won office last year after an election in which young people and women turned out in large numbers amid a record high turnout of nearly 75%. Political observers say voters were mobilized after the abortion law was restricted under the previous right-wing government. Tusk says he believed Poland still probably has a long way to go to liberalize the law, but welcomed Friday's votes as a move in the right direction towards the defense of the fundamental rights of women. He said he believed the country would ultimately end up with a law that gives women the feeling that they are not an object of attack, contempt, or disregard or just simply a walking incubator. Tusk is supported on the issue by the left, a member of his three-party coalition. However, the third coalition partner, the more conservative Third Way, favors restrictions on abortion rights, and the issue has been a source of tension within the government. Abortion rights advocates said the decision to continue work on the bills and not reject them outright was a step in the right direction, though they also don't expect real change in the law coming soon. Uh, Kinga Yelenishka, an activist who helps provide abortions with the group Women Help Women, described being moderately satisfied because she is realistic about the prospects for change. The, one, the Women's Strike, the Polish organization that led massive street protests as abortion rights were restricted, noted that it was the first time since 1996 that bills liberalizing legal access to abortion in Poland were not dropped in a primary vote. The group welcomed the fact that the 27-member commission created to work on the four bills will be led by Dorota Loboda, a lawmaker who was formerly a women's strike activist. Any liberalization bill would likely be vetoed by President Andrzej Duda, who remains in office until the summer of 2025. Ugh, I forgot he exists. Damn it. Duda is a conservative who last month vetoed a bill making the morning after pill available over the counter to women and girls 15 and older. It is not an abortion pill, but an emergency contraception. Uh, do you think conservatives know the difference? No, no they don't. Abortion opponents are also mobilized in the Eastern Union country, that has long considered the Catholic faith to be a bedrock of national identity, but which is also the process of rapid secularization. The Catholic Church called on the faithful to make Sunday a day of prayer in defense of conceived life. 
An anti-abortion demonstration called the March of Life is also being planned in downtown Warsaw that day. Dude, it literally says in Genesis that life begins at first breath. What are we doing here? Currently, abortions are only allowed in the case of rape or incest or if the woman's life or health is at risk. Well, at least it included health. Reproductive rights advocates say that even in such cases, doctors and hospitals turn away women, fearing legal consequences for themselves or citing their moral objections. Find another fucking job if, you're, if you morally object to doing it. According to health ministry statistics, only 161 abortions were performed in Polish hospitals in 2022. The reality is that many Polish women are already having abortions, often with pills mailed from abroad. Reproductive rights advocates estimate that some 120,000 abortions are carried out each year by women living in Poland. Now, my, I might also add that, you know, it's nice that they can get these pills because otherwise it would be a back alley abortion with a coat hanger. And the chances of the woman surviving that are slim. So, at least they have access to something. But, um, you know, that's what these pro-life people do not get. Abortions are going to happen whether they're legal or not. It's just a matter of whether they're going to be safe. But a lot of these same people probably do not care. All right. It's not a crime for a woman to perform her own abortion. Only assisting a woman is a crime. Well, that's a nice workaround. One of the four bills that now goes to for further work is a proposal by the left that would decriminalize assisting a woman in having an abortion. Currently a crime punishable by three years in prison. A fourth proposal introduced by the third way would keep a ban in most cases but allow abortions in cases of fetal defects, a right that was eliminated by 2020 court ruling. Well, at least even the conservative side is willing to give an inch, but in this case, not good enough, but that's an improvement. Um... Let's see. Um, I really don't have any other, anything else to say about this article. I just hope that they keep at it. That the fact that Duda is up in next next year, hopefully that means that his ass will get voted out, and we'll have. If not not someone from the left, at least someone more liberal, someone more willing to accept that women have the right to make health care decisions on their own, regard whether whether the government likes it or not, because it's nobody else's business. So anyway, um oh yeah, one more thing about, you know, think of um, conceived life or whatever. I'm sorry, um, why do people assume that just because you were conceived that that fetus actually wants to be born? Nobody asked it. People just assume that if it was conceived, it wants to be born. No, no, that is not something you can can assume any more than you can assume that they want to be aborted because they have no thoughts on the matter not at all they don't care because they don't even know that existence is a thing we're talking about something that even when the baby is born you put them down on a bed and they think they're literally attached to it so no this is not someone who thinks huh you know what 
I think I want to be born. Mm, no, that's not how any of this works. So anyway, now I think I've covered everything. So with that, I will see you guys in the next video.